Hey, my name is Paul, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to breathe to play woodwind instruments such as the saxophone. So there are two parts to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. In the inhale, we want to think about taking in a large volume of air quickly without creating any tension or stress in the body. To do this, we want to use a deep, low breath. Now, normally when people think of breathing deep, they expand their chest, which causes their stomach to suck in and their shoulders to raise. This type of breath isn't ideal because it's not efficient, creates tension in the body, and will make it more difficult to control the release of the air later on. So the ideal breath is what is referred to as a low breath, where we breathe deep into the lower abdomen, expanding the stomach and lower back. Our body does this low breath naturally, breathes like this normally when we are lying down. To get a sense of this, you can lie on your stomach with your head resting on your arms, or you can lie on your back with your hands resting on your stomach, feeling the stomach expand as you inhale. Another way to get a sense of this is if you put your hands on your lower back and lean over. If you take a deep breath, you should feel your back expand. So when taking this low breath, you can also think of it as inflating or expanding an inner tube with air around your stomach and lower back. You can also think of it as filling your lungs from the bottom up with air, like pouring water into a glass. So a good way to practice this deep low breath is to start out by inhaling and exhaling slowly through your nose so that there's no extra tension created in the body. Concentrate on if your stomach and lower back are expanding as you breathe in. Make sure that your shoulders aren't coming up too high when you breathe, as that's a sign that you're not doing a low breath. Once you get comfortable taking a low breath without creating any tension in your body, you can try taking in a lot of air at once. To do this, I like to think of creating space in my abdomen to allow the air to quickly flow into my lungs. Uh, I feel this is more efficient and relaxed than trying to think of pulling air in so this way I can take in a lot of air quickly and efficiently without adding too much additional tension to the body. When doing this quicker breath, we want to breathe in through an open and relaxed mouth. You should hear a deep low sound as the air rushes into your lungs. Now when we exhale, normally we let all our air out at once. But when playing a wind instrument, we need to control the release of this air so that it's consistent and even over time. So you can practice this by blowing into your hand. The goal is to try to create a focused circle in the center of your hand that doesn't move. The airstream or pressure against your hand should stay even and consistent throughout the exhale. So the muscles we use for the inhale and exhale work as a complementary pair. In the inhale, we use the diaphragm to bring air in. And in the exhale, we use the abdominal wall or our core muscles to control the exhale or release of the air. So to improve our ability to breathe and use air efficiently, there are a few exercises we can do to increase our awareness and strengthen the muscles involved in the breathing process. So an exercise we can do to work on this is to take in a deep breath of air and then hold our breath momentarily. You should feel a gentle firmness in your core or abdominal muscles as we are preventing the air from escaping all at once. Some other exercises you can do to get an awareness of this are to hold a plank position while taking deep breaths or to sit in a chair while holding your feet off the ground. So these exercises will force you to engage your core or abdominal muscles. And what this will do is create resistance in the inhalation process, allowing you to strengthen your diaphragm and therefore, you'll be able to breathe more efficiently, more effectively, bring in more air easily. They will also strengthen your core or abdominal wall muscles, which are responsible for breath support and controlling the release of air. After becoming comfortable with this, you can try taking in a lot of air really quickly and then releasing it as slowly as possible. And vice versa, you can try taking in air very slowly, trying to fill your lungs up as much as possible and then moving it all out as quickly as possible. Through doing these, you'll get a better sense of what it feels like to move air and gain more awareness and control over your breath. 
You can also do these breathing cycles in a sequence back to back to get a sense of what it feels like to be playing and then take a breath of air and quickly and then continue playing. So the breath is the fundamental source of power or energy for playing the saxophone. And therefore being able to use your breath effectively is essential to playing the instrument well. So because of this, we need to continuously practice and develop our ability to use air well. Okay, those are the basics of breathing for playing the saxophone. Thanks for watching and please stick around for the next video. Hmm.